Okay, hi everyone. My name is Shikin from Ras Aquaculture. Today we will uh, do a simple assessment on our crab whether to know our crab is infected by certain pathogen or not. So how we do this is we draw blood from the mud crab and we do a gram staining. The gram staining we observe if the crab have any pathogen or not in the. Okay. Okay. First, we need to draw the blood from the crab. We use a shrink. And then we take about 1 mil of the blood sample. Okay and put in the separate container okay first thing before we start doing the gram staining we have to make sure our bench is uh, disinfect so we use alcohol 70% alcohol So that we confirm that the bacteria that form on the slide is from the crab blood. First, we need to take the blood sample we take just now. And spread into the slide. Okay, next we need to fix the slide so we use a uh, normal lighter you just uh, need to pass the slide for three to four times after that we need to make sure the slide air dry so after the slide already completely dry we need to overlay the site with gram crystal violet solution and then we need to wait for one minute okay after one minute we need to wash the violet solution with water And then overlay again the slide using gram iodine. Okay, left for another one minute. And then after one minute, you need to flood the slide using gram decolorizer until all the color removed from the slide then you need to wash the slide with water and overlay with the gram Safranin for 30 seconds. Okay, and then wash with water. And then you need to left your slide air dry before observing under microscope. Okay, now the slide already air dry. First, we need to cover the slide with the cover slip. And then put under the microscope. Okay, from the slide you can see that the stain color 
is mixed between purple and pink color. Here you can see the purple color strain and here you can see the pink color. Okay, that's all. So, now we already know how to observe the crab, whether it is infected or not infected by the presence of the pathogen. So, from this slide, we can see that our crab infected by a pathogen from the gram staining method. So, that's it from today. Thank you.